know, four years ago when we started the bridge, the whole idea was how can we be the most effective in the Anderson community? Along with that philosophy is thinking that eventually if we got a building, how cool would it be if the building was smack dab in the middle of Anderson, which is right now not in the greatest of shape? How cool would it be if we could get a building that has already existed but has been dilapidated and needs to be revitalized in an area of Anderson that needs to be revitalized? How cool would that be? And you know what? That's exactly what God had in store. After three years of searching, God has provided for us miraculously this awesome theater right behind the Mounds Mall. Hey, let me take you inside and show you this incredible building. Come on. Hey, that was then, this is now. Now let me show you what has happened since that was taken. All we've been able to do is have our demolition permit, and so we've done is pretty much what we can that that permit allows us to do. Now, as you can see, we've already taken down a lot of stuff in the lobby area here. And then, do you guys remember that the theaters right in here are back to back? Well, check this out. We've had so many of our people come in and help us demo that this is now just one big, huge, cavernous room. And that's where the movies were shown up there. You can see the white on the wall. That's where the room was. But this is going to become, after we level these floors, um, we're going to use this as our classroom area for our little children's ministry area. All right? Now, follow me. Now, we're back here in the lobby. Now, let me show you what's going to happen in here. This right here, this area here, that's where the bathrooms are. Those are going to be completely torn down and replaced with a little coffee shop right where stool number two was, is where the coffee shop's going to be. I'm just kidding. But that's where it's going to be. So this will be completely open all the way through here. It's crucial that you know that because this is where the additions come in. Check this out. All right, there is a change in plans. What you say? There is a change in plans. Based on what has been pledged, based on what has come in, what has been pledged is 325,000. What has come in is roughly 62,000, which is almost one fifth of what has been committed, which in today's economy is unbelievable. Now, if God wants us to do it all, at one time, he will provide the money to do that. We're not going to put him in a box. But based on what we have, we want to be responsible with what we've got. And so we're going to do things in two phases. So the first phase, based on our 18-month commitments, which we're really kind of have about 12 months left, we're going to add this connecting building along with what will become the lobby. But right now, it'll be our makeshift auditorium. Okay? We've got enough money to do that so that if we follow through in our commitments and our pledges, we should be pretty close to debt free by the time we go into phase number two, which will be to add on a similar connecting building that was over here, over here and connect a big building out here that we will use for our auditorium. So phase number two would be us sometime, hopefully in the near future, putting on that additional building that will come out here that will connect the steel building that we will purchase and then set up, which will become hopefully our future auditorium. So much of the parking lot will be taken up. So that's why we want to purchase this land over here and are going to purchase this land from the Cook family. And this will become our parking lot. Let's go out and take a look at it. All of this land over here, this is about three acres that we're purchasing from the Cooks that we will be using in phase two to build as our parking lot when that parking lot is eaten up a lot by the auditorium. There's been some former buildings. Oh my gosh, the thing that we feared was that there are people living in a basement that's out there in the ground and we're gonna have to deal with those people right now. Um, looks like he's happy, but we'll have to deal with that in the future. But anyways, this is the land that we wanna have to do for our parking lot in phase number two. The reason why we want to do things based on what we already have is that we could build on faith but still be paying it off 20 years later and we don't want to do that. 